Old uncle? The traitors? Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards, Arthur. Cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> and this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But. If we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe ain't we no can. Freedom for no one in this country, no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning, we take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And as always, a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. <laughs> We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, I ain't got much to lose, but you got to do what's right and cut some loose. John and his family, I, I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we got to let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you... Think it's best. I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, let's pick up the pace. Train is due in Santa need in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys head home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. Go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with them. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Got it. <laughs> 
All right. Let's get this done. Mount up, boy. gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> that mess in the oil factory? I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well... Let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. But first, we got one last train, John. One last train. So long as it isn't Burma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. It's all coming together, Dutch. Just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, Saint Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Maka? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Not much further now. Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well... Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this! Of course we are! <laughs> Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! Jump! 
Get off the gun! We need to go for the money! Come on! The money should be in the front carriage! move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. That's uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Touch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here, take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. And just get out of here and go live your life. This is done. All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Nah, nah, don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler, ride with me. Yeah. 
If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon...